All right, Tom. Um, had a hard-fought victory on Thursday. Can you just walk it, walk us through it from your part, your perspective? At Midwestern, always tough place to play. 287 challenge. You know, it was a non-conference game, but it was their home opener. It was uh, Justin's first game, and he really wanted. To, he had the crowd into it. The play team was into it, and we didn't have our probably our best game. It was our first true road game too, and. You know, we start, we're starting uh, four sophomores right now, and then Eric Mosley, a senior. So uh, I don't think we were rattled, but I don't think we were really at our best. Now, with that being said, I think we still won by 10 or 12 points. Uh, Quay Grant made some big plays, and we hit some big shots, some big defensive stops by Derek Geddes, and uh, came away with the win. So anytime you go on the road and get a win, it's, it's good. Were you just happy with the way the team responded in that kind of atmosphere? Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, you know, it's again, we didn't come out that great, but we never gave up, and it was a, a good effort. We had some stretches there where we really played well uh, defensively and went after it. You know, sometimes the ball just doesn't bounce your way, and I think that was that, was that night. But I give Midwestern a lot of credit, too. They played really hard. They really wanted that game, and they came out ready to play. So, uh, But again, our guys start to finish, we, we played pretty hard, and we made some big plays, and we got the win. Him being a conference opponent, although this is not a conference, it's not a conference game, did you kind of look at this as a, a dress rehearsal sort of thing? It's like kind of like, you know, it's a, something that's snake, but you know, it's not an everything game, but you, you, get, you got that out of it, you know? Yes, uh, I agree. You know, it's a Division two in-region game, and, you know, you always try to win your conference, whether you're in the, you know, the Dairyland Conference back in Gilmanton, Wisconsin, or if you're in the you know the, the NSIC, the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference, or the Lone Star Conference, you try to win your conference. But the big big picture is in-region wins, and that was an in-region win for us, just like the lat the previous weekend with Western State and Adams. Those were in-region as well. You can only play the game that you're scheduled to play that night, and so that was a yeah it was a, it was a big win for us, uh, big in-region win. So talk. Oh, yeah. I was just going to ask you about Eastern. Uh, coming to your rivalry game, of course, just kind of at home. Talk about that game. A no bit. question. It's a rivalry game. It's, it's uh, you know, kind of a backyard brawl. Uh, they're very talented. They've got a really good point guard in, in Devin Pullum. And then they're very big and very physical. And we still have to watch some more tape on them and break them down a little bit. We still want to correct our mistakes that we made maybe in the last game. But it's going to be a, it's going to be a dog fight. You know, it'll be a really tough game. Four o'clock, home conference opener. So hopefully we can get some fans out for that game and uh, come out and support your buffs. The, the ticket sales too for that game also helped the scholarships, the uh, Maurice Cheek scholarship. All the ticket sales for that game will go towards the Maurice Cheek scholarship, which helps former buffs that just graduated finish their degree. And you know, last year we had three players that graduated right away. Our three seniors, Ryan Quaid, Gotch Gotch, and Brandon Hall, all graduated right away. But this next year, Eric Mosley or Jordan Collins, if they need a little help, uh, they'll have that in place for them. So that's a great, uh, it's a great scholarship and a very generous scholarship set up by some some really great benefactors here at WT. Coach, you mentioned Eastern size, <clears throat> and that's something that uh, our team. You know, we're going to go up against a lot of teams this year that are bigger than us. But talk about how your team seems to always find a way to get the job done. Yeah, bigger isn't always better. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things where you got to use what you got and try to do the best that you can. And we've got some, I'll just say, smaller guys. I don't want to say littler guys, but maybe in, maybe in stature, <coughs> but in heart and skill level, I think we're pretty big and we play pretty big. You know, John L, uh, JoJo, and Quay, those three guards right there can really go and get up and down, and they rebound really well for their size. And then we do have some size with John Brown, 6'11", Eric Mosley, Derek Geddes, both 6'5", and, and really good athletes. So we, we can get up and down a little bit, and we do have a little bit of size. But, uh, you know, it's it comes down to you got to be able to dribble, pass, shoot, and, and sometimes size doesn't always matter. Uh, in the game of basketball, it definitely helps. You know, if everything is equal, I'd rather have the 6'10 kid over the 5'10 kid. But you know, you've got to be skilled as well.